next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official Ladies introductions, here's Bruce Buff. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Featherweight division. It's who see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Assassin. And now we produce his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Nice head kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Separate. You take 
more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this. Nice right hand. Ooh, blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Big head kick. Outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into the opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Real nice body kick land. Under a minute now to go. Hands high, hands high. Ooh, what a head kick. Strike. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard. Fantastic timing. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. How good is that right hand? Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon. to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice punch lands over the top. Three minutes and change to go in round two. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Switching stances here. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Huge block there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Try to establish that jab. Checks the leg kick. 
man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Right on the button. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, big head kick lands. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, man, head kick lands. Good stick. Oh, nice. Yeah. Missed with that attempt. Well, he's always on the counter. Oh, he's the fight the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. You've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh. Big punch land. Ooh. Check the high kick. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. There's no give on that leg kick. Punch over the top. Really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. seconds of round three. Oh! That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toe. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. 
and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lou. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. He blocks the punch. Nice punch there. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Just missing on the high kick there. Head kick. Good punch. Thirty seconds to go. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close. Just drive that oh, oh. by the great time. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Nice strike. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. That's a big strike right there. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Good punch, Lance. 
All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself the chance to try to find your shot. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Went for the inside leg kick. Can't take any of those. Better check. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh, big left. So the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, Assassin. Judge two scores it, 9-46, Lee. And judge three scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision, Bruce the Dragon! All right, so the judges have rendered their decision, and two of the three of them had it for him. So he gets it done by split decision tonight. You've been involved in some yeah. of those. Nothing easy standing there waiting for the judges to render this. John, it is the worst feeling in the world, not knowing if you did enough, right? Or not knowing what the judges were watching. So I know exactly what these guys are feeling as they walk to the center. You got your fingers crossed, you got your toes crossed, you got everything crossed, hoping that two